It's a great pleasure to welcome you on behalf of Imperial College as we're acting as your hosts over the next couple of weeks. I hope you have a terrific time here and that we will see many of you back at Imperial over the years ahead, however your careers develop. What's so interesting about this event is that at this stage for you as students, it brings talented people together from so many countries. It's such a great opportunity to share cultures, ideas and experiences. And we think Imperial is the most appropriate venue for this because throughout the year we gather together talented scientists from around the world. We have 9,000 undergraduates and over 5,000 postgraduates and they come from 126 countries. Half of our students and over a third of our staff come from outside the UK. One of the most unusual things about Imperial is that ever since we were founded, our mission has been twofold, both to undertake excellent fundamental science and to see how that science can be used for economic benefit and to make the world a better place. So for example, we have experts in the fundamental physics and engineering of plastic electronics. And we have multi-million pound collaboration with global electronics companies to develop this technology commercially. Our medical scientists undertake research in Africa on combating tropical diseases. Our business school seeks to understand better what has contributed to the recent world economic slowdown. We undertake about $100 million a year of research funded direct by business. That's certainly at the forefront of UK universities. Some 500 of our academics at least have active consultancies with business and public bodies all around the world. One of the ways in which Imperial seeks to combine excellence in science with excellence in securing impact from science is through hosting what we call Global Challenge Institutes. So we have the Energy Futures Lab, the Grantham Institute for Climate Change, the Institute for Global Health Innovation. These have proved an excellent way of attracting world-class scientists to work on the global problems of our age. They work hard at bringing the conclusions of their research to the attention of national and international policymakers and governments, so that the best scientific evidence is put to good use. And as has been explained before coming to Imperial, I worked in the British government alongside ministers. I hope that many of you, as your careers develop, develop will also have opportunities to improve the quality of national and international government through promoting the best kind of dialogues between scientists and those responsible for developing policies. A core aspect of these global challenge institutes is that they bring together underpinning scientific disciplines to tackle global problems in an interdisciplinary way. Increasingly we find that exciting developments are most likely to happen when we work across boundaries between disciplines when physics, chemistry, biology, engineering, mathematics and medicine all interact and collide. Hopefully in the presentations you hear over the next fortnight, you'll be able to probe how important interdisciplinary collaboration has been to making the major advances you hear about. This is certainly the case in your ambitious theme of exploring the impact we all have on the Earth and of how we as humans interact with our planet. I wonder if you're aware that some of the rooms you're staying in, in Imperial's halls of residence, have just been vacated by Olympic athletes. I hope many of you were enthused by the holding of the games here in recent weeks. I fear I can't promise you that you'll find Usain Bolt's running shoes left behind in your room. I hope, though, you do enjoy being part of London as an Olympic city. The triathlon, with its swimming in the Serpentine in Hyde Park, 
is less than a mile from where we are now. If the organisers allow you just one evening off, perhaps you should queue in for a prom concert in the Royal Albert Hall just behind us all. Do make yourselves thoroughly at home here at Imperial during your visit. Do enjoy being in London and have a wonderful two weeks.